Hey guys, I'm leaving for uh, a pond, same pond as last video, to go try to fish some bass, some decent bass. And now I'm using my bike to get there, and I'm fully equipped with my backpack. And I'll show you what gear I brought over there. So I'll see you guys over there. So guys, so we finally arrived to our destination. It's a nice pond, see this last time. So now today I'm going to try to catch some bigger fish, explore a bit more, and uh, yeah. So let's try this place out, I'm going to show you my gear in a few secs. So now guys, we're going to review the equipment I brought. So today, I brought a poncho, water, food, this is a kind of bucket that's really small and easy to bring. I can fill up with water if I catch a fish. I brought a spoon. I brought a frog. Spinner bait, a white, and a black one. I brought some jigs. Brown and purple and black and blue. Another kind of spoon. Crankbaits. I brought two crankbaits, an orange an orange one, a purple one. My purple one goes really well through weeds. Another crankbait that looks like a minnow. But they are all shallow because I'm going pond. I'm in a pond right now, so This is like a kind of sunfish, a small deep diving crankbait, but it doesn't dive that well, so that's why I use it. And another kind of minnow crankbait. I also brought a shrink tape, a ruler, gloves, pliers, scissors, scotch tape, a lot of soft plastic baits, Senkos and all kinds of other stuff, extra line. Minnows, like not real ones, but they're soft plastic baits that are minnows. A few hooks and weight. There's a lot of weight. And my fishing permit. So that's about it for the gear I'm going to use today. Hope you enjoy. I just hooked up with a small perch. <laughs> there he is. I'm gonna put him in with my sunfish. And there we go. I caught him on the middle again. I just caught <laughs> fish number three. <laughs> he's teeny. Uh, he's uh, the same size as the first one I caught. Another small sunfish. And now my last solution, since uh, since I picked up the small minnow bait, I did not catch anything. So now I'm going to try a uh, small tank bait that looks like a minnow. And it should work. Uh, well, actually, I hope it works. And it's, uh, it goes shallow, so it's not going to get hooked up in the weeds. Or, and I can cast it pretty far, so I'm going to try to get some uh, decent bass with this. Let's go. The thing I like with this bait so this crankbait is that it's white like a fish or a minnow on the on the, uh, on the belly. It's dark like a fish or a minnow on the back and it's kind of shiny on the side. So I don't need to add color to it with pens and pencils. And then I have a nice little tip of red right here. Imitate the gills and the eyes. And that's it. I'm going to try this out and make some nice little rattles. Uh. 
Sunfish, one more catch. There you go, sunfish. Number two. And there he is, and he's gone. Now we have the perch to catch. Where did Mr. Perch go? For those of you that are not quite sure which kind of perch it is, it's a yellow perch. There we go. Nice little perch. Now it's for the rhythm. Oh. He jumps back in. And I quit. Okay, so there. Guys, I'm gonna quickly resume what we did today. So summarize what we did today. So. I started off fishing, I, I biked over here, I fished in this nice little pond, I caught two sunfish that were three inches, one perch that was six, they were, they were small, and then I started casting, I caught them with the, this minnow, so yeah that's about it, yeah, I caught it with that, and then I started casting my yum worms, and I got stuck in the weeds a lot. And I switch over to the crankbait. That's about it for today. Uh, wasn't very successful, but I'll try. I try my best tomorrow. Let's see.